In this video, we'll write the formula for ferrous oxide. So when we see this ferrous here, we need to realize that we're dealing with an older naming system. It's called the stock naming system. So in that naming system, if we have OUS, that means we have the lower ionic charge. You have to realize that this ferrous, it's referring to iron, and it's iron with a two plus ionic charge. If it were IC, it would be a higher ionic charge. The ic would be Fe3 plus. So here we have the ferrous. So we have Fe2 plus. And the oxide, that means oxygen, and oxygen is always going to be 2 minus. So for this compound here, we want to make sure the charges all add up to zero because there's nothing written after this that says it's an ion. So it's going to be a neutral compound. Here, 2 plus, 2 minus, that adds up to zero. So the formula for ferrous oxide, that's just FeO. If we were to write the name with the newer naming system, we'd have Fe2+, plus. we would call this iron 2 oxide. But with the old system, ferrous oxide. So you really have to realize that when we talk about iron, it's either 2 plus or 3 plus, and that the OUS would tell you it's the lower one, it's the 2 plus. This is Dr. B with the formula for ferrous oxide. Thanks for watching.